push out the side. Now, women with hair, this isn't going to get all the hair, so you've got to make sure you got to tie back or pull back. That's another reason why you seat the chin first. Pull back over the top of the head and sweep all the hair away. Gentlemen with beards, shave them off. You don't have an option in a chemical environment. There's no room for failure with this. Failure is death, period. So, pull it on, put it on your chin. Nothing over here. Now you notice that this is right now these are tight. Only the pin that's attached to my face. All I have to do is pull those two bottom ones at the same time. Coming under my hand, under the um, outlet valve. And usually placing your hand here is an extra measure. And blow as hard as you can with whatever. Now I'm taking breath. Normally, you would be you would blow your breath like you spoke earlier. So you're going to blow out whatever air you can as quickly and as sharply as you can to force whatever contaminant in your mask might be there. And I felt a rush of air up inside. Cupping my hands over the top of the inlet valve, sucking in. There was no air. That is the proper seal. At which point I would probably pull this up over my head. These things are wonderful for that. I pulling the zipper. And then cinching this up. Double checking. Can you see that sucking in? That's the proper seal. This point you're doing, like we told you earlier, the gas signal. Gas! 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 I hope the folks in the back can still hear me. But as loud as you can, because there might be some code over here taking a nap and didn't hear it. He's probably dead anyway. At this point, he's dropped in the back.
I'd rather die than be a slave to thee. 